Hey, today I will show how I got Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 running smooth on my VR setup with 2080 Ti and high graphics settings and I even got Quest Pro eye tracking working. But first let's fix these terrible VR controls. Just look, I touch the stick and the plane jerks quarter of a turn. It's so twitchy and annoying. And look how buttery smooth my new controller is. It is actually a pleasure to fly now. And I'm using a new Xbox PC controller from GameSir. It is called the G7HE and it's exactly like the official Xbox controller, but the main difference it has super smooth whole effect sensors for gimbals and triggers. I have 3D printed this little stick extension too and essentially I have made a gamepad with the precision of a high-end model plane radio. And it works super smooth now. Gives so much detailed resolution in the stick and flying is just a joy. Especially after fixing the graphics settings and having smoothly running game. And tuning VR graphics, they are super easy. I have just switched anti-aliasing to DLSS and put performance to quality, enabled reprojection and chose high-end render quality. That alone has increased my frame rate all the way above 70 frames per second from just 30 frames I had in my first video. Again, I just can't stop abusing this plane. I have a drone-like radio for controls and I fly this plane like a toy drone. So I have spent another 4 hours printing and got this Xbox Hotas and it actually works, making plane controls even smoother and much more importantly slow and gentle. So it is perfect for smooth and relaxed realistic flying. And yeah, I'm flying the plane backwards because the camera just got stuck and I will have to restart the game. Which is a perfect opportunity to show the eye tracking setup. So I'm using the virtual desktop with my quest. The important setting is to choose virtual desktop XR runtime, then download and run open XR toolkit. Make sure forward eye tracking data option is selected. Make sure the eye tracking is enabled in the quest OS and calibrated in settings. After all of that, you can click play on Steam and don't run Steam VR. Just click the game icon from the desktop. Wait for the game to load and hit Ctrl Tab to switch to VR in the main menu. Ctrl F2 to open OpenXR Toolkit. Now frame counter seems to be broken, so I don't use it. I think upscaling can increase the performance even more, but I got the DLSS running already. And here I enable foveated render, enable eye tracking, and I'm using quality mode. Boom, 90 FPS smooth jet racing. And here I'm flying in the middle of a Tokyo. Again, over 80 FPS, even going all the way to the ground through a huge and dense city, like this is the worst case scenario in the game. And you can see the eye tracking working in the recording too. Those random pixelated parts of the screen while I move my eyes in a headset. Again, for me, the view looks exactly the same as it was before the eye tracking. Everything is just sharp and detailed. I cannot spot any graphical downgrade even trying to look for it in the headset. Which means the eye tracking is doing a perfect job. And here I'm trying to show how smooth the new gamepad stick is, which is very hard with a virtual desktop's pass-through. And this is pretty much it. Playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is 10 times more pleasurable experience having a smooth frame rate in VR and even smoother flight controls with a new gamepad. Check all the links in the video description. GameSir is definitely replacing my old Xbox gamepad, not only for flight slims, but all games.
cast way more smoother and precise gimbals, and it even costs less over the official Xbox model. Plus no batteries to worry about recharging, just plug the USB-C and play. The 3D printed flight stick though, it was fun to try, as I already have a 3D printer, and I might share and link the files, but this one is already falling apart after doing just a single jet race, and I have printed more simple one, which does work better. But if you are looking for a real flight stick for Microsoft Flight Simulator, this seems like the steel with the current Black Friday deal, and I will link it too, and maybe even show it in my next video, so subscribe. I think the only issue left to fix are those 5 minute initial game load times, especially if something crashes in VR or just camera or something else gets bugged, like I showed in the video, and I have to restart the game and wait 5 minutes all over just for the game to load, and I have 100 megabits per second fiber optic connection, and I read some people have to wait even for half an hour with a slower internet speed, which is simply a complete joke. So hopefully there is a way to preload and save those files for the base game. And if you found a way already, you can leave a tip in the comments. And thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.